Welcome to Tell You Later. If you were expecting the unexpected, you may not be disappointed. Or will you? Find out in this very special episode of Tell You Later. And to those of you who are listening to the podcast and you like what you hear, please make sure to leave us a review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Hi, my name is Ryan. When I'm done doing dishes, I like to watch Tell You Later. Again. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget. Don't forget to hit like. Mm -mm. Mm, Do not forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit like right now. Hit it. We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute. Nonetheless, a melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Because it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not. We haven't got a title song for this show. Oops. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to... I'll tell you later. <laughs> no. No? It's not, you don't have the word I in front oh, of it. Oh, sorry. Say, Katie, what's the name of the show? Tell you later. Okay. Um, hiya, folks. Uh, my name is Will Ryan. Her name is Katie Lee. Collectively, we're known as Katie Lee and Will Ryan, or vice versa. It's, it's, you know what? It's called the reciprocal property in math. And we're going to do, uh, we're <laughs> gonna do a whole... Three plus two is the same as two plus three. We're going to do a segment on that later. Not in this episode. Reciprocal. <laughs> right. 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 Recipro- okay. Yeah. Tag. You're it. That's another kind of reciprocal thing. <laughs> really? <Yeah. clears throat> Well, there used to be a song that yes. uh, must have been on Broadway because they used to sing it on like the Gary Moore show and places like that. And mm-hmm. so we belong to a mutual admiration society, my baby and me. And uh, so I don't know how that relates to math, but that's mm. something too. I would sing that, but I think there are copyright uh, considerations. We don't want to get effect. sued. We don't, certainly don't want to get sued. certainly from, from don't want to get sued. Broadway, Tin Pan Alley people. So anyway, so, uh, this is, I believe. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Was that a, uh, yes, was that a diversion? <laughs> <laughs> it was a suggestion <laughs> on my part. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, to me. Welcome back. I get it. All right. So uh, I, I believe this is the seventh episode now of this show. And in the very first episode, and for every episode thereafter, I wanted to go through my list of things we would be doing, of segments that we have would have in each episode, and I haven't done that yet. If I sound a little hoarse, I've been talking all day. So is it because I perhaps sideswiped the conversation? Somebody did. Somebody. Somebody. Will remain or somebody's. Uh, unnamed. Mm-hmm. Unpointed yes. to. Right. So I will, without, with very little interruption, go through this lengthy list that I prepared before the... <laughs> before the, the <laughs> The first uh, segment. Mm-hmm. Some of the segments, uh, sesh, uh, show, episode. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So these are potential segments that I want to do. Uh, I want to do all of these, actually. Are, they, are these suggestions to me? Well, yeah, or to, uh, to viewers. Because I am your and let co-host. Us know. Oh, if they like yes, the idea. Yes, exactly. See, right? Let us know what you think. Okay, here's uh, suggestion number one. A segment called, What's in a Name? Ooh. Very Shakespearean, right? Letters. Yes. And it's, Two A's, one E, it's, uh, M and N. Yes, and it's uh, you have to guess the name. Uh, oh. Or, uh, oh, it's a game. Yes, okay. yes. Uh, let me see. I might have an example of one of the questions. For example, there would be a moderator and a panel. <laughs> okay. And when we have guests, they'll be among the panel. Be under, or they could okay. be the moderators. All right. Like you're going to give me an example? Oh, and I want to talk about some of the guests we could have. Okay, but are you going to give me an example of the game? So they, then you... they'll know if they like it or not. Yes. Uh, okay. Let's see. I am not. I can't see, by the way, because he's hiding his computer. All right. <clears throat> What's in a name? 
I'm thinking of a name, and here's the clue. Okay. Alimony Drone. Alimony Drone. Mm-hmm. What? So what's the game? What am I supposed to be thinking? You're trying to guess which name I'm thinking uh, of. Is it a person's Alimony name? Alimony Drone. It's is a, it person's a person's name. name? That's correct. That's one question. It's a person's name, mm -hmm. and it rhymes with Alimony Drone? No. And it looks, it represents, so drone. No, it does not represent. It, That's three questions. Alimony, that has to do with money. Well, that's right? correct, but ask questions. Oh, I have to ask questions? Do I have 20 questions? You have three. Yeah, well, you got or something? Uh, no, you, you only get 17 questions. Oh, okay, alimony. So it's a person, is it male or female? Male. Okay. Um, Alimony. It's drone. a real I bet some name. Some people have it already. It's a real name of a person. Of a real person. Are they living now? No longer. But they're, they're contemporaneous with uh, everyone viewing. Oh. Almost everyone viewing. Okay. So an alimony is. I, I should say he is because we established it was a man. So like oh. Buck. No. Is it, so I mean, so it, alimony is what you pay when you get divorced, right? Yes, but these words have nothing to do with with the name. They have nothing, they do not describe the person. Well, then what kind of game is this? It doesn't. Is that your sixth question? <laughs> My sixth question. It has nothing to do with them. That's correct, but well, the letters might. The, oh, you unspell the letters. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's different. Okay, hold mm -hmm. on, I can We do call that. that an anagram. Okay, I can do that in my head, hold All on. Right. Alimony drone. Okay, hold on. Drone. I could give you hints if you want, but that will cost you. <laughs> what, cost me what? Points. Points? Yeah. How many points do I well, get? Well, you get 17 questions, so I'll, I'll count and two questions for each. Uh, and rod. Uh, wait a second. Is the, each word mixed up, or are they all mixed up together? They're all mixed up together. Oh, okay. It's an so anagram of the full name. I can't separate it. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's a guy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You want a clue? Can I write it down? Sure. Am I allowed to do that? Right. In the meantime. Then I'll get it, because I'm really good at this. Alimony. Are you going to do a song? No, I just want to say this and is they're not. they're dead. This is not, well, no longer among the living. Okay. All right. Okay. Can you do something else in the meantime? You want me to give you Can a you clue? Go over your list of other things that. Uh, um, okay. Well, then you, you won't know what the other things are, but uh, all right. Uh, we'll talk see. about the other things you would like to This is called What's in a Name. Discuss. The other thing I want to talk about, <laughs> another segment would be What's in a Word. <clears throat> what's and then another one is What's the Good Word? Well, what's and that? You have to that's explain where the what moderator they are. defines a word and the panel guesses what the word is. Hmm. See? And then, uh, then uh, I want to do a segment on, and this is something that. Um, uh, as a writer and working with other writers and, and writing assistants back in the old days, homophonic ambiguity, because that would drive me crazy, where people would misspell things and not realizing they were. But, but spell check said it was all right. No, spell check is a, is, a, is a lame brain. So if you pardon my expression. And then. Oh, that's just not right. Okay. Oh. Wait, it is. Wait. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> I also, I want to do a segment on electric cars, electric vehicles, and futuristic stuff. That's a show you already watch. No, I, I, I watch realize... a show. I watch a show about Tesla. I want to do one about all kinds of futuristic stuff, and I want well, to call do you it realize... Elon Musk and Friends. <laughs> if you maybe he'll come on the show. If you look, watch the Jetsons, yes. almost everything on the Jetsons we can do now. Which, speaking of which, well, except. As I recall, what? in the opening, he, he goes to work, and uh -huh. then he sits there and he presses a button, and then his work is done for the day. Oh, is that how it goes? Yeah, except Mr. Slately, or whatever his name is. Not Mr. Slately, it's something else. Uh, I think it's John. What's his uh, name? John was the boss on that. Yes. Yelled, Jetson! Right. Get in here! Yeah, Mr. 
No, so that press that button with Flint more stars. panache. John, oh, he was. I'll the, think of his name because yes. we know him. We know him. Let's see. A. I go down the alphabet when I'm trying Is to remember still something. Yes, oh, I wow. believe so. Cogsworth. Was that the boss's name? Crew, yeah, but wow. we're thinking of the actor who did it. Thank you, Mr. Boy, Cogsworth. This, this, we have our crew of one is on it, looking up stuff for us in this real actor, time. This actor, I, one time I went a, to the um, 50th anniversary of the first, the taping of the first I Love Lucy. Stevenson. John Stevenson. Mm -hmm. Is he still? Oh, great. Yep, John yeah. Stevenson. He was over at... Um, uh, Worms are held found in Joseph when I was there. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story. I don't know if you're going to really go through your list or not, yeah, but can okay. I tell you about Roger Helfon, who was an agent sure, at right. Worms are held found in Joseph. My, my agent, yeah. His father was a pediatrician, obstetrician, and delivered my sisters. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. That Dr. Helfon. That is very impressive. Yeah. Wow. How about that? Yeah. Oh, and my God, and my, and, 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 and my father's best friend growing up who's like a cousin used to date Roger. Really? Mm -hmm. She was an actress. She was a, her name is Robin Blake and she's still around and, but she used to be an extra on General Hospital. Wow. Boy. How about that? You, yeah. Usually you're the one that comes up with this little know, trivia business, but this is real life because the difference between you and me is that I grew up in LA hmm, and you yes. grew up in that place that's high in round on the end and high in the middle. That's right. We already established that. I'm still mm -hmm. trying to figure out your name here, so continue. I could give you hints. Well, let me just see what I can do here. All right. Um, then I want to do um, a segment called I Like to Play Sudoku. <laughs> Sudoku. I'm sorry. I was laughing so you didn't hear the last syllable. But, and, and it would be a discuss discussions about Sudoku. And No, um, because we're never going to do that because I absolutely cannot do... Sudo I can't even say it. Sudoku. Sudoku. People, I get the I get the letters mixed up. Just think of because a, I'm more of a letter person. This number thing is very very upsetting to me. I can't I can't even I don't even understand how because you're so smart. You're you, you I mean you have to be to do that. Anyway, no, we're not no, doing no. Sudoku. You know I'll tell you who's smart is Dick Cavett because he can meet a person and for the first time tell you a, an anagram for your name as soon as he hears really? your name. Yeah, it's some weird thing. Leonard Nimoy. That's right. Very good. See? Thank you. So that would be one of the segments. In fact, <laughs> let's see. Do you know let's that see. I'm good friends with Leonard Nimoy's cousin, really? Jeff Nimoy, who's no an excellent singer wow. and he directed uh, a lot of anime shows. Really? You don't know Jeff? No. He has no. his own, um, he made a movie. He actually had a brain... Uh, tumor and it was awful and when he got over that and they removed it and he got well which is wonderful Good. he said as long as I'm still alive I've always wanted to make a movie so he made a movie and it's called Almost Famous. Famous? Yes. Uh, is that like Hamish? Almost famous. Almost kind of, human. Almost famous. <laughs> yeah. It's like, like so he did that, uh, but Stark, he's a super nice humus. guy. Very almost humus. <laughs> almost humus. <laughs> <laughs> I feel awful. Sorry. <laughs> what game is that? What food I don't know, do I feel but... like? <laughs> <laughs> what food am I? <laughs> what kind of food, food am I? I? See, we're changing no, the notes. No, you got the wrong tune. What kind of? No, no, we're not doing the real I? tune. Oh, we can't. No, no. Are you kidding? They shut us down like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, like. I don't think uh -oh. so. You're not. Leonard Bernstein's estate might sue me for this. <laughs> Etc. <laughs> and uh, wait, or, Shakespeare might sue you. Or Vic Mizzy might sue us. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. They're spooky and they're ooky. <laughs> but he got it from <laughs> the highbrows and the hipsters, the blah, blah, and the grifters. The most exciting people pass you by, including a private eye, seventy-seven. Sunset. Yeah, I remember that. It goes that. there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're old. <laughs> no, these things are timeless. Uh, they're on YouTube. Oh, yeah. yeah. So tell them what you're talking about. 77 Sunset Strip, uh, TV, it's a TV show, show, black and white. Yep. You Starring... know, Adam asked me once, my son Adam, when he was little, I was telling him, he was, we're talking about something, and he's something that I did when I was a kid. The he's, song something? No, we're talking about something I did when I was a kid, and Adam says to me, oh, Mom, was that in black and white? 
Like my life was in black and white at one point. Wow, yeah. You know, the entire the entire Civil War was shot in black and white. Was Did you it? know that? Yeah. Yeah, it probably yep. was. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but before that, they had to paint uh, uh, wars, you know. Paint wars? You, yeah. You mean like paintball? Or ball? do engravings of them. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like paintball but, guns. No, 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 they That's had to paint different. wars, you know. So. Paint uh, wars? Well, yeah, if you wanted to see a oh, war. Oh, you had to paint it because there know, were no you had cameras. You to go to the museum and look at the painting that's of it. That's true. Yeah. That must, that's probably that's why they that's lasted why it so, so long I know. so people had time to paint them. And they seemed them. so heroic. Uh, so, <laughs> everyone, because, you know, the models were posing like for this. hours. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Get ready. But, you know, once it went to <laughs> color television and, you know, and you see, oh, yeah, 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 they're in the jungle. They're, why are we there? What, <laughs> I have some friend who just posted they want to sell an actual outfit from the Civil War if anybody wants it. Is it? Uh, contemporary from that period? Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. Yeah, I'm trying to think who so, found it. If you're interested, contact Katie and she'll I'll try to remember. Let me know. I'll find out who it is. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's an actual civil war. Well, oh. hey, we didn't do the ending of the segment. We, oh. we did uh, Once in a Name. What's in a Name? Um, let's see. Let's do the beginning. This, this is not the real theme song, but... I'm not even sure what we're this talking about. Is once in a, this is Once in a Name. Oh, and, and that'll be the, that'll be the song yeah. that we if we do that. Time segment. for what's in a name? Yeah. Falafel. <laughs> <laughs> Alfalfa. No. Am I right? Oh, <laughs> probably not. So that's anyway. just a jumble. I can do jumbles. I know. We we I famously did that on the airplane. <laughs> Yes. yes, and and what I like to do because I like a challenge. I like to I like to not look. I had to write out when this I'm other driving. thing because I don't like <coughs> when you're driving. Yeah, <laughs> right. Because FSD, and we'll look. If you don't know what FSD stands for in terms of driving, fasten. No, what? Okay. Tell you later. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 